Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Röttgen Brymaster. Today we will be making lamb loins sous vide style and as a side we're going to do green asparagus. And what we need for that and how it's being done I'm going to show you now. Enjoy! All right, guys, this is all we need. We have two lamb loins, we have some butter, we have some Berloch pesto, which I made myself. I'm going to put the link in the description so you can check out that video. Uh, we need some bacon to wrap the green asparagus in, as well as some fresh rosemary, and two bags that will go into our sous vide cooker. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do one lamb loin with the Berloch and one with the fresh rosemary and see how that uh, shapes up. Um, and obviously the next step will be to marinate them, put them in a Ziploc zip bag and um, vacuum them. All right, for the next step, we're just going to apply the Berloch pesto onto one of the lamb loins so that the flavors can really penetrate the meat. And we're going to add the butter inside as well to give it even more flavor. Now we're going to do this from both sides. And due to the Berlauch, we don't need any more garlic or pepper or salt or any of these other flavors because the Berlauch pesto already has all them combined. All right. For the fresh rosemary, it's actually quite simple. You just rip, rip it off and put it on the lamb lux the lamb loin. And again, we're going to do this from both sides, however, because obviously they're rather loose and we're only going to do it from one side now and then after inserting it into the um, Ziploc bag or the, the, um, the bag itself, then we're going to turn it over and put more fresh rosemary on it. All right, with a vacuum bag, it is very important initially to um, fold over the end because once you insert the food you don't want any remnants or any fat or anything here that would prevent the seal from properly closing because you need it absolutely airtight because you don't want any water to rush in from the sous vide cooker. Now we're just going to take the lamb loin with the fresh rosemary and we're going to stick it in turn it around and then we're going to apply the rest of the rosemary and that will give a nice flavor to our lamb. Now, what we'll do next is we're going to take half of the butter and again, put it on one side, right on top of the meat and then turn it around and put the other half of the butter on that side of the meat, which will give us even distribution and obviously add a flavor. All right, I'm now going to package up the second one and then I will show you how to vacuum pack. All right, this is my vacuum machine and you're just going to insert the bag, close it and put it on vacuum and seal. And that is all that it takes. Now what I usually do is I do two seals on the top just to make sure that the seals stays in place and it's tight because it would be really, really bad if now water was to seep in and it technically would destroy our dish. So second seal, just pull it down a little further, close it again. Now this time you only do seal. You don't have to do uh, another vacuum. And that's pretty much all it takes. I'm going to do the other one now as well. Then I will see you at the sous vide cooker. For the asparagus, we're just going to take the green asparagus and um, we're going to see where, you know, the, the ends are not as nice and then we're just going to cut that off. This time we're going to throw them away, not like with the other asparagus video where I wanted to keep the peelings as well as the ends because we're not going to peel the asparagus. But what we're going to do today is we're going to wrap it in bacon. And what I like to do is either you can um, make a little package, so like three um, 
three asparagus pieces in one and wrap it kind of like so or you wrap them individually this is really entirely up to you i'll have to see how much bacon i actually have i'm not entirely sure for this video um and then i will wrap them and then i will show you i will show that to you later on all right as you can see the sous vide cooker has come up to temperature 58 degrees we're now going to put both lamb loins in and leave them in there for roughly half an hour um, and then we're going to put them on the barbecue to give them their final sear. All right, exactly half an hour later, it's time to take them back out. and cut them open and put them on the barbecue. And well, they are medium rare to medium. And it just already looks lovely in there. And now we're gonna cut them open. Take them out. Guys, I wish you could smell this because this is just delicious to no end. Now with the rosemary, you have to be a bit careful because you obviously don't want to burn the rosemary now that it goes on the barbecue. But I'll show you how to do that in a second. Outside at the grill, I've already barbecued the green asparagus and I've now peeled off pretty much all the fresh rosemary. And now we're just going to very quickly sear the outside of both lamb loins. Because they really don't need much more. They are already cooked to my liking in the middle. And in the meantime, we can take off the asparagus and that's going to taste phenomenal. I'm absolutely positive about it. Give it about a minute from each side and then that should do it. And there you have it guys, lamb loin with bacon wrapped green asparagus. This one is the one with the fresh rosemary. And this is the second one. Uh, this is the one with the Bärlauch. Bärlauch for all my non-German viewers is wild dandelion. And it's a delicacy here in Germany and we get it similar to white asparagus only in a particular season, which is spring. So this is going to be absolutely delicious. All right, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And obviously please hit that subscribe button for more great videos that are about to come.